good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, we're going to go ahead and finish up the sun visor, window shades, vent shades, whatever you want to call them, on the side of the Toyota Tacoma. You know, I did the install video. It's been about four days ago, something like that. And I want to make sure that I left them sit with the windows up because that's what you're supposed to do for at least a couple of days to make sure that the adhesive, because they're held in channel by adhesive, takes hold. So let's take a quick look. What I've put on, these are AVS vent shades, I guess they're called. Um, they're low profile. They are smoked, which is what I wanted. Obviously, I'm not going to put chrome or something on here. Uh, but you can see they're front back. They do fit in channel. Awesome install. No issues with them whatsoever. Let's take a look at the other side. Ew. Uh, these look good as well. Uh, no issues with them. The only ding I have on these really is that they have the AVS uh, company logo on them. I've heard that you can kind of wash this off a little bit or something. Other people have said to scrape it off. Well, obviously, I'm not going to start scraping on these things because then I'll dig up the plastic, right? Now, I will put just a quick little snippet in here so that you guys can see how they fit in the channel. Not a whole reinstall video, but just a little snippet right here. You want to start uh, with the edges. Go ahead and slip it up in the channel. And then you want to kind of pull them towards you. And then we'll put the window up to hold them in place for 72 hours. Okay, now, let's go ahead. We're going to start the truck up. What I always do when I put these things on is roll the windows up and down a couple times, look at the channels to make sure they're not moving all over the place. In other words, that they're fitting in there the way that they're supposed to. And, of course, that they don't drop out or something crazy. And we're going to start with the driver's side door because, you know, that's the most important. It's where I sit. I'm going to go ahead and take them all the way down. And just take a quick look. I don't see anything funky. Let's go ahead and bring them all the way up. Love the new auto windows, by the way. You did see a little bit of movement there, if you're paying attention. Well, that's because they sit on the weather stripping itself. And obviously, it's going to move a little bit. But you don't want anything crazy. Let's uh, take a look from the outside. Now I'm going to bring it up again from the inside or standing out here, I guess. I want to see what that looks like. So here we go. Looks pretty good to me. I don't have any issues with that one. Now let's go around to the back. We'll hit this one. Oop, thought the truck was locked. Same thing. Uh, they look good to me. Let's go ahead and put the window down, see if anything happens. And they stayed in channel, that's always good. Let's put the window back up. That looked uh, pretty much perfect. Now let's take a look from the outside, take it down below, and let's go ahead and put the window back up. Looks pretty good to me, spot on, no issues with that one. Let's go over to the other side otherwise known as the passenger side, right? This time we'll just start in the back. Going to do the same thing. Want to go ahead, put the window down, make sure that nothing funky happens, like it falls out or something crazy. You really don't have to lower the window all the way. I mean, once you get below the threshold, that's really enough. Let's go ahead and put the window up. Pretty darn smooth. Let's check it out from the outside. Looks pretty good to me. And notice again, you get the same little movement uh, when it goes up on all the windows. That's because it's sitting in the channel, right? Let's do the passenger side. One left. So far, so good. Make sure everything's good over here. And we'll go back up. That looked pretty good to me. I do want to see it from the outside. Since we do have the one touch power up windows now, I can do this. I couldn't do it on my other truck. Okay, here we go. 
looked pretty good to me. I didn't hardly see any movement on that one. So they all look pretty good. No issues whatsoever. Let's turn the truck off. Ew. Okay, I am very happy with them. You know, I've had the WeatherTechs as well, and there are other brands out there. But the problem I had with those, they have brackets that fit in the channel. They kind of snap in or hold them in that way. I didn't like those. I didn't like the way they seated, and I had problems with them actually warping or distorting the trim work around here. We should take a quick look at that. You can see I don't have anything weird going on. When I use the other ones, they actually pulled the trim away from the windows. Um, I didn't like that, of course. Ew. Uh, because you don't want anything uh, away when it comes to seals that can allow moisture to get in there, right? That's how you have leaks and stuff. And notice, these are spot on, no issues, nothing has moved. Gotta say, I've had the best luck with the AVS. I will stick with them going forward, uh, probably on my 2024 Tacoma, whenever I can put my hands on that. That's assuming they're still making vent shades uh, when that truck's actually available. Who knows? That's a whole other story. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys see. I uh, couldn't post this up until it sat for a while, so that's the full install, I guess, and how they've reacted or how they're doing after having them in the windows for the actually four days, I think, since I put them in. Leave a comment. Let me know. Do you go with wind shades or nah, you don't need them, you don't want them? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.